the most basic machines are called simple machines. And these simple machines are the inclined plane, the wedge, the lever, the wheel and axle, the screw, and the pulley. Simple machines change the strength or direction of a force, such as a push or pull. Let's dive in and see what each one of these simple machines do. A lever is made up of a straight, rigid object like a board or bar that rests on a support called a fulcrum. The lever helps you lift things easily by pivoting at a point called the fulcrum. If you know what a seesaw is, then you know that pushing down on one side is applying force, and this is what makes the other side go up, lifting you into the air. Next, we have the wheel and axle. An axle is a shaft or rod that is fixed to the center of a wheel. In some wheel and axle machines, the wheel is replaced with a crank or another part that spins in a circle just like a wheel. Wheels help things move smoothly, like on a bike or a car. The wheel and axle help you move things easily by rotating. A steering wheel in a car is a wheel and axle machine. Another example is a doorknob. A doorknob is a wheel that turns the inner shaft or axle. This is what moves the latch. On a bicycle, when you pedal, the wheels spin around the axles, helping you move forward smoothly. Next, we have a pulley. A pulley helps you lift stuff up much easier even heavy things that you couldn't pick up with just your hands and muscles. A pulley is a wheel with a rope or something similar around its edge. The pulley changes the direction of the force applied to one end of the rope. Think of raising a flag on a flagpole. Pulling the rope makes the flag go up without needing to climb the pole. Next, we have an inclined plane. An inclined plane is a flat surface with one end higher than the other. Inclined planes are like slopes that help you move things up or down with less effort than lifting straight up. For example, riding your bike up a ramp is like using an inclined plane. The next simple machine on the list is a wedge. A wedge is a piece of material that narrows to a thin edge. Pushing the wedge in one direction creates a force in a sideways direction. The head of an axe is a wedge. Swinging the axe into a log can split the log apart. Cutting a slice of cake with a knife is also like a wedge. The sharp edge of the knife acts like a wedge, making it easier to cut through. Our final simple machine is a screw. Screws help hold things together. Now it makes sense. You have a screw loose. A screw is a thin rod with edges or threads that curve around it and allow it to grip or join materials tightly. Turning a lid on a jar is like using a screw. It keeps things closed tight. Turning a screw produces a force that can push the screw into wood or tighten it against a nut. Most furniture, toys, and cars use screws to help hold them together. So, even though they're called simple machines, as you can see, they're very helpful and needed to do many things. Well, hey, guess what? Now we all know just a little bit more about simple machines. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.